Ladies and gentlemen, Jordan say slow mo. Slow mo, brother. So this is the last video of today of this I'm done. <laughs> it's Saturday night. It's been a heck of a week. Uh but we're gonna try something here. I'm getting the hang of this. The Axe Effects is cool, man. It's cool. It's it's a cool thing, it does cool things, so I just I'm getting ramped into this world. So here's a good like a basic sound. It's the atomic amp with the little cab combo that uh, that Mark Day showed me. And that's coming off of Axe Effects at plus four. Oh, you know, let me zero this out. Let's do this again. Everything's at zero. We're gonna just call this axe um, straight. So this is going straight into the burl converter, I have a, a, a B2 stereo, right? So let's, let's record a little of this. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try Axe Cappy. We're gonna try running this thing through. First, we're gonna do is kill the volume. We're gonna try running this through. I'm just gonna turn the volume. I'm gonna. I'll center the preamp gain. I'm turning the output off. Uh, I haven't done this. I didn't do like a test run to see if it worked. <laughs> could be so terrible but I think it could be cool because I used to do Rick my buddy Rick said hey you should run it through the preamp try it and I used to run my Kemper back in the day like that so that's six and seven there right one two three four. Oh, wait a second oh no 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 here we go yeah there you go get that out of there there you go okay Sorry about that. Give me a second. I haven't done this yet. Oh. So now, same patch is running now out the cappy. It's probably no volume now. Oh. What do you think of that? Preamp volume down. Let's, uh, pad. Try padding it.
that's that's with the preamp gain off completely. I'm just opening the output gain and it's padded. These are Cappy whatever. They're like API 312s. V28s or something. This is here what it sounds like. And I'm not driving the preamp. Like I could I could go the other way and turn the output down and the input, but let's just start here. go so maybe ultimately I was a little louder I had some different reactions but here is Axe Effect Straight <laughs> feels dark it's funny man i've been working on the other the amps all day my head is like swimming um let's try let's try this again eq let's, let's throw a little something like more openness uh, oh, now we're through the cappy, and I'm going to put a little EQ on there. switch off. Let's try that. the cappies with uh, no EQ. It's definitely better, more open. I'm getting the feel of this. Now I'd like to say no EQ straight. Let's take it out of this. Uh, configuration and let's just go back to let's just go back straight in but with EQ brighter
this is straight in no EQ. Sorry, straight in with the EQ. No, I don't know. It's no. This is this is like it just means it's brighter. It's not EQ, but brighter. Straight in brighter. <laughs> Same thing through the cappy. You can definitely hear the like whatever transformers that are in the cappies in there. But cool, I mean it gives you an idea. Like if you like that, then there you have it, right? So now what we're gonna do is this. I'm gonna try something else here. And then there's probably a would be preamps that might be better suited for that. The cappies, which is funny, they're you know they're allegedly they're uh, they're like API style, but they seem dark compared to the Vintex, which are the Neves. All right, so now we're going to come out of the X. I see X. I want to say Xbox because I got kids. We come out the X. And out the axe effects and we're going to go into a pair of Brit modded distressors so now we're going to try the distressors but with the EQ on it I think it's better with a little bit of that top it's just too much all right so let's back off all this so give it a second so now we're going to go EQ and distress distressors we were messing with this yesterday and we got a really cool sound in, in detector using the mid bump. It seemed to kind of help the little bit of mid range with, with the profiles or the mod models. And then in the audio, the high pass is, is detected and distortion three, just four to one, nothing crazy. Um, but I, I don't know. It's hitting it pretty good. It felt good. I don't know. We'll see. All right. So here we go. So the stressors. I could send a, a kind of a I could I could center this if I wanted to. It doesn't matter, it's rock and roll man. So here it is with brighter EQ and distressor. Stressor. Sorry about that. Roll three, distressor. So here is uh, EQ straight. And the 
stressor. <laughs> Sir. So I like the distressor. I mean, you know, either way, it's going to sound what it's, it, it's, you know, it's not turning a pig nose into a VH4, but I do like is there's a certain like, I don't even know, man, it makes it sound more like pucker and more masculine or something. <laughs> So I like the distressor. You want to try? Who wants to try the camper? Let's try the camper. So we'll go here, and this is going to be the end of this video. We're going to call this camper uh, straight. So now we're going to go to camper. That's it. It's oh, except we don't want to go in here. Okay, let's move this. Yeah, that's it. The camper and the axe effects are right next to you. Just go bing bing, and that's it. So now, whoa, camper. <laughs> Kemper's nice, man. People talk smack about it. I'm telling you, it's nice. These diesel profiles are sweet. A lot of effects, you could take them off, but. Through a couple profiles, find the one we want. difference in sound here well you know what we're doing we're just going to run this down so here's here's the Kemper straight with uh, I don't know what profile this is nothing on just uh, diesel VH4 with a Mesa cab so here we go save Kemper oh I'll try to, I, I, well, you know what, I'll do something different with this. Like... <laughs> damn 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 
Now, this is how easy it is. Click, click. I gotta stand over and make sure I'm getting them in the right. When I, when I was like a young guy going to big studios, all I ever wanted was a TT patch bag. Cause I just, you know, you assume, like you, uh, you associate it with like SSLs and all this stuff. And then, uh, you know, I always had like quarter inch. And then I get a TT patch bag. I get a ton of them with <laughs> my SSL. And then I'm like, man, I, I don't know, man. I kind of miss those old quarter inch. They were cool, man. <laughs> Easier to see. All right, so this is Kemper. Now this is with the stressor. Let's see. I don't know what the settings are. I mean, it's the same setting that it's got the other setting. Whoa. Right now, I think because I was listening to the. Let me hear. This is the axe. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with it. You, you guys will get the gist of it. This profile is kind of crispy, bright. start this one it was it was it a all right that thing right Like advanced wankery. A little louder. That's all right. Turn it up. Turn it up. Like Autograph told us to do. See how much more compressed it is? There's no bumpity bumps. It's just. So here it is. Camper straight. Stressor. Like the Kemper without the distressor. It's weird. I like. I don't know if anybody else has noticed this, but I'm becoming well indoctrinated into this thought process. Both these units are cool. If you want something that sounds and feels like an amp, get a Kemper. I don't want to hear, no, you know, quad cortex, this guy, that guy, axe effects, cool, great. But a Kemper to me just, you know, and they're like, yeah, but it's like 10 year old technology. It's like, yeah, it, they, it's like they just got it right. So I don't know why they haven't come out with Kemper too, but that just sounds like an amp to me. So. Anyway, that's kind of where I'm at, I guess. I like, uh, I like, uh, I like this with, this is the, the uh, Axe Effect Straight. Stressor. I like that better. And then Kemper Straight. And Stressor. It could be cool. You know what I would say on the Kemper? You know, I'm going to try one more on the Kemper. 
Let's 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 just take a second here. I think I want to hit it less with the Kemper because the Kemper's just it's it's more aggressive sounding like. I could feel that felt better. I think that I just was, I think with the Kemper, I, I, I want to hit it less. With the, with the Axe effects, I seem to like it when it hits more. I think it gives it maybe a little bit more jump. So anyway, here's Kemper straight. <laughs> Kemper Distressor. You know what? Yeah, it, it, it does do a little something. It's cool. The thing I the thing I think what I'm kind of hearing and uh, it, is that it's like almost like the Axe FX needs more help. To me, like the Kemper just already sounds like evil. Like, and that's a little bright, but you could back that top end. I mean, the Kemper to me just feels right where the Axe FX is like, it feels like it's, uh, it's, I don't know, it doesn't have the same, like, energy, just pure energy that the Kemper has. So the Distressor, like, hitting it a little harder, gives it, like, more, like, it colors it more. So, there it is. One thing that's happening that's good because of all this, uh, all these videos, my playing is getting better. Also, getting that Strat yesterday, I played, like, I played that thing for like four hours last night. I played it for about two hours this morning. And then I've been playing on and off all day. So, like, my playing feels like... When I got back from Orlando like two weeks ago, man, my playing was so weird. Like, the, the guitar just just felt... I don't know, you know. Just didn't feel like my fingers were, like, doing anything. So, <coughs> anyway. <clears throat> tell me what you think in the comments. And I'll like you if you agree with me. No, I'm just kidding. But that's it. Yeah, so there's like a couple of the different modeler profiles through preamps, through dis pair of distressors. The other thing I have, which I didn't even fire up, I have I have in the chain, I have a, a, a GML EQ, the 8200. But, you know, that's just going to be a little shaping it's a very very intense eq very powerful eq you got to be very careful um yeah you can get insane quick but it's very surgical so you could really sweep frequencies and find something snotty in the guitar and fix it though you know you'd probably be fixing it more in the modelers anyway but that's it i think i'm done man I'm all ready. I gotta, I, I'm gonna reamp Mike Joey in the morning. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the, his is like hard rock, 
like kind of industrial-ish metal. Not really industrial. I don't know. It's just heavy. And I'm going to use, uh, I think I'm going to use my modded Marshall and the Kemper um, with one of those VH4 or the rectifier uh, profiles. Yeah, maybe I'll shoot a little video of the guitar soloed. I can't, I, well, yeah, it's not really my music. Probably not, but it's good. It's that combination of the Kemper <laughs> with those dry rhythms and that Marshall with its dry rhythm. Dude, this is crazy, man. It's so 3D and just like humongous and tight. And, uh, you know, I've got, I've got it down with science with, you know, phase aligning and polarity between the Kemper, which is basically a processor, and an amp, which is, you know, much less processing. It's coming out, it's processing through the gear, basic gear, like preamps and, and converters. But the Kemper and the Fractal are doing their own thing in there, so there's more latency. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, there you go, man. Little, we'll end it with a little Kemper uh, distressor. Still not getting it. All right. Anyway, that's it, man. Like and subscribe.